Tell me again what it takes to be a man. You tell me again, cause I don't understand. Where it's at to you ain't necessarily. Where it's at for me. No calls, idiot. You said buzz 10 p.m., Mr. Smith. Then why? The plane. 10-14. My God, Andy. Was that today? Yeah. Me too, please. I am not an idiot. She says she's not an idiot. And I quit. And she quits. Why? Because I'm sensitive. Okay, I apologize. Okay. Okay. Just watch out, you don't tuck him in. Not a chance. I like older men. I'll find you one. Mr. Smith? Yes. Hi, I'm Ralph. Right this way, please. Wow. Like Babylon. Long Island? Babylon Bible. You've been here before? About four years ago. But my father and I meet regularly in New York. Every Christmas. You gonna be around a while? Oh, a few days. Here's the brightest corn in the world, right here. My, my. I need my jacket, huh? Mr. 
this one. He must, he must be on, you know, a uh, long distance. Uh, I'm Molly Hirsch. Congratulations. You uptight about something? I haven't got all day. You've got from now on. What'd you say, Missy? Molly Hirsch. H I R S C H. O nine eight three two five three zero one. What? My social security. What's yours? <coughs> None, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. They've got plenty more. I can't, are you trying to clue me in on something? Molly? Miss Hirsch, you blew the Molly. Oh, boy, am I trying to clue you in. And oh, boy, am I goofing. <laughs> What's the matter? You just graduated Princeton. You flunked listening. Why, you said something from now on. Warm? I'm sorry, I'm going abroad. Plenty of broads here. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just trying to be amusing. You're supposed to once in a while, it says in this course that I'm taking. By mail. <laughs> Why should you tip me off? One, I'm a good kid. Two, you're going through a nervous time. How do you know? Your letters. You read them? And answer them. He's too busy, busy. Do you know yet what you want to do? I'm still on what I don't want to do. And number one on the don't parade is this. What he does. How do you live in here? I work here. Why? Why? Because... My brother's a pre-med, and my 
father's a cardiac, and my mother's a slob. Yeah, Henry? Is he going to check out these new finale rags or oh, what? I doubt it. The sun just blew it. He's been raising hell about the bras, not me. Why don't you give him a goose? Do it yourself. Mm, thanks a bunch. Try again. Oh, sure. I know, it's 10 p.m. Wrong. It's he's here. Hey. Hi. Hey, look at you. What do you weigh? Well, 150. 150? Well, so do I. Well, maybe a little more. Oh, shut up. Hey, damned if you don't look more and more like me, you lucky bastard. That's a fact. Mm. Why is that? I've known you a long, long time, you be. Oh, well, I'm not so sure about the second part. Well, it's time, uh, time we got acquainted, right? Right. What's new? I'm going to Europe next week with a group. Uh, you're here with me. Europe's out. I want you to stick around for a while, learn the business, so you can take over when what I... What the hell you say, sit Mr. Sit down! Just sit down! Don't you like me when I was like you, your age, jumping up and down all the time? But that army hit you straighten you out, but no, you're still a spitter. Let me show you around, maybe you change your mind. Please. It comes to us. It's the forum. Caesar's forum. Call for Mr. Abel. Mr. Ron. Renee. Oh, uh, Mr. Smith. Show my boy around. Uh, could I ask? One of the slot rows. That's how we check on if everything's on. Beautiful. But you don't seem to understand this. Uh... What's the beef, Henry? You said you wanted. All right, don't get your curlers in an uproar. They got a show in a couple of minutes. Get them ready. They're ready now. All right, Eric, a couple lights. You get, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, oh. How's your cold, Betty? Gone. Good. Turn into pneumonia. Tell me, tell Blue Cross. You asked me. Uh, this is Phyllis Harrigan. She's Harrigan. replaced. What? With an O, not an A. Oh, oh. Can't tell you no more Polacks, Henry. I'm Irish. What an O. He's putting you on, honey. She's quite a hunk of beef. Where'd you get those pants? All right, hop off, Betty. Uh, 
How do you like it? Me? Fine. Yeah, fine. Fine. Whatever he says goes. Thanks a lot, old buddy. That's a valuable topic out there, Liz. Well, I made it myself. Well, let's have a look at it. Hey, hey, where are you going? Uh, no, nowhere. <laughs> uh, come here. I need your opinion. even good. You think so? Oh. Yeah. All right, put it away. You want to work topless? For how much? What is it now? I'm not sure. Actors got a new bite on topless acts. Yeah. I'll let you know soon. Take your time. I'm here for the duration. Duration of what? My value. Yeah, I dig those fresh cases. Hey, you think she's beautiful? I guess so. Yeah, well, be sure, son. That's a business here. It's what we sell, beauty and hope. I'd say it was more like sex and greed. Well, whatever. We sell a hell of a lot of it. Whatever you sell. We sell. Any bets? Now that you're through with that college bag, you make your move in here. Who needs it? What needs you? God. Your mother died, you got her points. That's a third in trust. The third is mine, goes to you when I go. Yeah, and the third, third? Money guys in Baltimore. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I've made plans. Graduate hey, school. Hey, you give me the summer here. No. Well, why not? Just not for me. Well, what is for you? I've got an idea. You can't tell me. I'd rather not. Telephone call for Mr. Wald. Mr. Harry Wald. I'm your father, after all. I'm for you. We're on the same side. I'm trying to be fair. You're making it rough on me. You want anything? Nothing. Nothing? That's right. Come on, open up. I got big things going for us. I can't spare your horsing around here. Not your... horsing. No? No. There's... You know, there's this friend of mine. He's from school. He, he made it into the Foreign Service, and he's going to show me around. There it is. Why? Because that's what I want to do. Oh, you know how many shifts I've been through with you? Up and down like a goddamn roller coaster. What about it? From the time you wanted to be a fireman, and then an obstetrician, and then an astronaut, and then a newspaper man, and now this. Well, yeah, I may change again. Now, what do you know about that? You know, when you were six or maybe seven, somebody asked you what you wanted to be when you grew up. You know what you said? A Negro. Long distance call for huh? Mr. Hart. Mr. Nath Hart, please. This is still a good idea. I can see we're getting no place back and forth and like this. I'm stubborn, you're stubborn. So here's a proposition, kid. We'll roll the dice, toss a coin, cut the cards, whatever. If you win, you take off. Goodbye, good luck. I keep staking you right through. If I win, you do your summer right here. The end of it, if yes, you're a partner. If no, I'll buy you out. You do anything you want to do, or nothing. No bones broken. Telephone call for Mr. Goodwin. Mr. Goodwin, Goodwin please. Now you better do it, Andy. If not, you're on your own. I don't lift a finger or give a buck. Give me a fresh deck.
Mr. Zarowitz, please. So, no bones broken. Anything? Two hots. The rest can wait. Bring him up. By the way, I'm getting married. By the way? Yeah, I told you about her, didn't I? Who is she? Well, she's real class. She's from a famous old Massachusetts family, the Mayhews. Her old man, I mean her father's a character, one of the high rollers around here. Last year, he busted out and cracked up. Well, she came out to help him, met me, and, and naturally stayed. And her old man? I'll tell you about it later. Hey! Darling is my son. Andy, that's my girl. Hi. Hi. Yeah. The whole damn almost family. Hey, Ralph, we're gonna have some champagne. If it does give me hot, Betty. Hey, you, we're gonna have some bubbles. Arthur. Yeah, I know. What the hell? You met my son? Yes, today. Yeah, what do you think of him? Oh, um, I think he's just like your son. What in the hell does that mean? Search me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on, you too, Ralph. It's an occasion. Was it a good flight? Oh, sure. What was the movie? I slept. The hell is this sleeping everyone's so hooked on lately? When I was your age, I didn't sleep till three. And now you are the ruler of the Queen's Navy. <laughs> Come on. Hooray for our side. Here, here. Cheers. Lachaim. Lachaim. Well, I guess I'll wrap the rest of this up and take it home to my cat. <laughs> um, hello, uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Uh, bye. All right. Got any other clothes? That looks fine. If I'm going around, you know how they are. Who? Everybody, that's who. I'll wear anything you want. Something of yours. You think it'll fit? Everything but the shoes, I'd say. Hmm. Huh? You want to get kept out of the school? Go ahead, Al. Number 70. Spilled off twice in the last 40. Well, move it to maintenance. Priority. Only before. I want you to look. Something funny. What does that mean? Tampering. Our hell's neurotic. Wheel him around for a while. I'll meet you after. Where? I'll find you. You. 
Get a haircut. So, kept after school. What's a nice girl like me doing in a place like this? How do I know you're a nice girl? Ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. Five hundred grand. Five hundred grand to develop, set up the whole, set up the whole thing. Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah. yeah we'll do. The first night out, you won't believe this, Frank. The first night out, he's in the casino, right? Look, so why don't you just talk to Arnie? You're the best dealer he has. Listen, so I care about a family too. You don't think I'll be down there throwing celluloid all over the felt all night, do you? Well, how many kids do you have, huh? Do you know that? What are yes. their names? I know. I got. Uh, I'll give you Seven to one, I've got two kids. Seven to one, you've got two kids. Well, how are you doing? A reservation. Uh, no, we we didn't have a reservation. I'm sorry, but it's... Oh, we're, we've been standing for for 12 hours in there. I'm quite sorry, sir, but the room, all my tables are full. Of no tables. Hey, Phil, what right. are you? Right. Uh, listen, yes. I bet you $25 you can't find a good table. I've got you covered, sir. So she rushes up the stairs. She's half out of her mind. She knocks the door open into the room full of cops. She says, where's my mother? Where's my mother? The cop turns to her. He says, never mind your mother, lady. We're trying to locate your father. <laughs> I hate this. Look for letters. There is nothing wrong with him. Will you please trust a female? I trust nobody. I know. I didn't get where I am by snowing myself. I'm a fact facer. Even if it happens to be a nasty one like this. Look at this. Look at this! Is that a bug? That's right. It cost me a fortune to have this room tapped. His phone, too. You know what goes on in here? Nothing. Nothing. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Oh, my God. Sometime too hot the eye of the shines, and often it is... My kid's a faggot, all right. Did it ever go away by itself? Yours apparently did. No, you're not going to take this series, huh? Do you like Snappy beating the third today? I know who I'll talk to. Yep. 
Baltimore on one. Well, 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 I thought you guys forgot about me. Yeah, just a minute. And the wind was 346.77. That's right, the average hit 1.41 on craps, 5.9 on blackjack. A little over seven on roulette and just under 17 on the slots. Yeah, thanks. Well, love to everybody. Yeah. Don't be saying that all the time, love to everybody. What does it mean? With a little practice, you can get to be a first-class nag. What do you mean, boring? Just that. Well, sure, it's all right once in a while. A release, a binge. Why not? But New Year's Eve night after night, God. We give the people what they want, the way any good business does. What people? Want what? You think everybody's interested in the jackpot? Everybody I know. But you don't know everybody. My bunch, for instance. They think possessions are a drag. You know what this place would be to them? Oh. Ridiculous. Yeah, you don't say. We'll ask them out, see how fast they come around. They might, they might. Everybody digs being wicked once in a while. Especially you. Watch your language, all right? It's a spotless, clean operation. It has to be. The place is crawling with them. Internal Revenue, State Gaming Commission, FBI. You like it better that way. Where in the hell did you get that slant from those old movies, gangster movies? That's yesterday's newspaper, kid. Day before yesterday. Today we're big business. One of the biggest. I'm impressed. Now, come on. I'll show you the eye in the sky. My opinion hasn't even started yet. See what you mean about everything being on the up and up? You have to put me down every chance you get just because I'm your... That's all right. I just hate to see you make the old bastard turn out right. Ooh. My old man. When you were born, he sent me a telegram from Miami. Congratulations, you just made an enemy for life, Pop. I'm no enemy. Oh, don't tell me about Vegas. I know about it. By the way, anything you want, you just ask. You don't want to ask. Just whisper. Now, this whole layout here didn't just happen to happen. It's taken a lot of years, a lot of sweat, a lot of clout. I had to tangle keisters with all kinds of characters. Them drumming on me, me drumming on them. But big ups, tough down. Lately, thank God, nothing but ups. And I did it for you, just as much as for myself. So don't blow this just because it's me offering it. When it's yours, do with it what you want. Burn it down, even. Wait till you see the plans we got. A 20-year expansion. Fantastic. Hi. I'm glad you like the business you're in, and you can get so... <clears throat> There's a professor of mine I'm crazy about. Uh -huh. He says nothing matters but passion. Whether for books, or gold, or shoelaces. He sounds like some kind of a nut. Wrong. He's a hell of a man. A guy once asked him, what does my father owe me? He said, only three things, Buster. Example, example, and example. Very good. How old is he? 72. Why? Oh. But he's young. Because he loves what he's doing. Yeah, me too. This here man is in the pink. Yeah, younger than my whole life. Like Diana told me, she read it someplace. It takes a long time to become young. Very good. Danny fell off. I said that one, yeah. I know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I... what have I told you? 
Uh, you told me to go to your man. Right. I mean, but your supply, your pasties just do not hit the right, light right. It's just, uh... My pasties don't fall off. I don't know. Spend the rest of my life hustling booze and phony bubble drinks. And sex, you know. Annie, uh... About that, um... Sex. Yeah? What about it? I'm for it. Are you? Yeah. What way? Hey, isn't this getting a little clinical? Uh, well, I got uh, concerned. You're my son. Oh, and you want to make sure I'm not your daughter? Something like that. Oh. That's why you asked me the other day about Professor, how old he is, huh? Oh, man. <coughs> you go out with girls. Now, uh, what's funny? <laughs> you go out with girls. <laughs> it's the same question the Army asked me. This uh, idiot head shrinker major, you know, when he comes to McDivitt, uh, my buddy, remember? He asked him, you go out with girls? Max says, no, sir. Major's head snaps up, just like yours now. Never? Max says, never. Major says, why not? Max says, my wife won't let me. <laughs> uh, hey, look. I got about five fast minutes, so I think I'll stop off for a quickie. Bye, Daddy. Excuse me, officer. What can I do for you, buddy? Uh, I am Mr. Okado. Can you give me direction to a casino? The new one with the funny name. Oregon? That's the one. I want to see you. What about? Sit down. Sit? Phyllis. Oh, just call me Phyllis. Yeah, would you do a job for me? For you? My hand in the fire. Good. And maybe you'll make me a cocktail waitress? Yeah, maybe I will, yeah. Both hands in. And how would you serve the cocktails? You really want to know? Now let's see first how well you do this job. You want to see my references? I know. With an O. Hey, you remember. <laughs> uh, I remember the rest of you, too. <laughs> what are you this week, Tarzan? That's me, among the apes. <laughs> <laughs> Would Tarzan like a snort? Not right now. Mind if I? Not at all. What part do you live in? It's a show wing. Three in a room. <laughs> Boy, I could tell you stories. <laughs> Wee! Happy New Year. What is all this? You want a blueprint or what? You haven't got what I want. Damn right not. Are you one of the smart ones? <laughs> On my back in a stranger's sack, striking out slowly, smart. 
Fill me in. The boss said to fix you up. I said, sure. Why? Because I'm madly in love with you. And ever since I first met you, I thought you were my Prince Charming, my ideal. Come on, shape up. What kind of a klutz question is that? Why? He's the top, your old man. You hear about it? The chairman of the board. Well, see, you wouldn't say no no matter who I was. Hey, Princeton, you're brainier than me. But I've got my specialty, too. And I can pursue you on one thing. Yes. Talking is not the way. Another four minutes like this. It's over and out. I suppose he had a reason. He's just giving you a little treat. Like the box of Cracker Jacks. Mm-hmm. With a little prize inside. What does he think? Am I faggot? What? What? Does he? How should I know? He didn't mention it? No. He didn't? Yes. What did he say exactly? Just he's worried about you. Tell him to stop worrying. Tell him I am a faggot. No. So how is it? Any good? Uh, you, you tell him. How about I tell him what he wants to hear? That not only you're straight, but great. Do that. Right with you. I don't want to upset you or anything, but you're no faggot. I'm not? Well, if you are, I don't know what the hell I am. Perlusion. There you go, red. <laughs> more and more gold thought. Well, do you believe this is? The system I developed, I call it the Davis Dynamic System. All on black, 11 of them. Well, how, does, how, does, uh, uh, how does it work, man? <laughs> I wouldn't sell you this system for 100,000 cold cash. Oh, you mean? In the county of Clark, in the state of Nevada, from this day on, I pronounce you man and wife. You promised, Harry. You absolutely promised that $200 was it. And you have gone over the $200. I know. We don't have the money to get... You know! We don't have the money to get out of the hotel, Harry. I know. Do you expect to get out of here like a criminal or something? I don't know. We are... Yeah, well, they're nice guys. Right Nobody's here. weird or anything. Oh, that's nice to know. It's, it's a group you're all the same age, isn't it? Uh, roughly, yeah. Well, it's sure, usually myself. doesn't work for uh, under 100, and you do all usually. Well, no, money is not, uh, you know, that important. It is to us. Hey, Junior, how you doing? Four, three seventy five, three seventy six, three seventy seven, three eight, three seventy nine, three eighty, three eighty one, three eighty two. More like him every day. Tells me I'm getting fat, so I do this instead of dinner. Wish he'd worry about himself. Why? He doesn't sleep. Something's on. He's up all hours, I hear him pacing. I'm not used to being a neglected wife. Or a wife, for that matter. Everything he does is to... well, impress you. Oh, I'm impressed. 
I just like to be pressed a little. Oh, whoa! Oh. Someday when I grow up, I'm gonna get me one just like you. You're grown up now. Where's there another one like you? Nowhere, I hope. You've heard of supply and demand. What's he jumping about? He's got it made. There's a girl downstairs sings a song. All I want is all there is and then some. Why? The way it is. With everybody. You. Me. Checkmates Limited. Ace of group. Yeah, you want him, you got him. Let me tell you about a friend of mine. He's a groover. He's right on time. Don't waste his time trying to talk. You get the message from his temptation. Walk, he does a walk. Everybody walk. Everybody do my dance. Everybody do. And I do the work, and what the hell? So do you. They sit in Baltimore like fat cats and meow for more fishtails. How do we get them out? Hey. What? Well, you finally, by God, broke down and said it. You said what? We! We! Do you know how good that sounds? It gives me strength. It gives me your strength. Yeah, it's like somebody handed me another head. <laughs> well, I just... Oh, no, someday you'll have a son. Someday you'll hear him say we, just like that. Telephone call for Mr. Pelosi. Mr. Bob Pelosi, please. And I get to be a goddamn grandfather. Just got married two weeks ago. Three. Oh, no wonder. So, how do we get them out? It's so simple, it's ridiculous. I got it out of nowhere one night. We reorganized the counter. What about their guy, Cal? Now, him we buy. Can you? You can, anybody. Only a question of how much. So we squirrel it away. Start to show a drop. We rig some slots for payoff. Book a few sick shows. We knock down the eats. Drop staff, so service goes off. These clowns like Baltimore, all they care about is black ink, red ink. They smell we're slipping. They sell, we buy. Nobody else will because the words around were bad news. After a while, slow, we bring the place back. And well, then what do they say? Hey, they don't know. Be a luck change, see, friggin'. And you thought it up all by yourself? Long distance call for Mr. Sarno. Mr. J. Sarno. Actually, I developed it uh, to find it. Uh, I knew about something like it a long time ago. When my old man took off, I told you about that. She fell apart. So we all got farmed out to relatives. Me, Tommy, the girls. For my luck, I got with my Uncle Vic. He was a bookmaker at the time. He broke me in right off. And then he bought into the wire. One of the partners, there were five of them. Till he and this guy pulled this thing and took over. I helped them. Now, the only trouble was the partner turned out to be, on top of everything else, a hophead. So the whole thing went bad. But I remember it from way back then. So, Calvin, who were the other nosies? One other man. I say man, that's a laugh. This is for real quiet. His name is Henry. Why don't you boot him off? He 
Because then they'd know I know, nutball. No, I play it cozy. We feed him, he feeds them, and one of these days, God willing, they'll choke. I'll certainly do what I can, Miss Mayhew. M Mrs. Smith. What? Oh, yes. About my friend, I, I know I picked a bad time right when he's talking about cutting down the whole show, but... He is? Oh, I'd better be still. No, 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 don't. You give me your dirt, I'll give you mine. Mine's peachy. Go ahead. Well, you know Willie, the dealer on 17. Nice little bald fellow. He's on a takeoff. Who knows? Me. I spotted him and his partner on and off Willie's table. Oh, never a run, but always back for another bite. And you haven't told anyone? Mrs. Smith. Uh, <laughs> you see how I remembered? I keep my nose clean at all times. I don't involve myself with uh, certain elements. No. I only told you for kicks. And because I want yours. Well, it's just that business being off, he's planning to cut down. Mm. The lines, the mm. bands, everything. Mm. Don't say anything, will you? Me? I didn't see it. Watch the next hand. Probably give him a five and a six. And now the six. I'll be damned. Get him in here. They see you loading. You see how it is? Give me the pit. Everybody's out to take you. Trust right. nobody. Hit hard. Look out for number one. Give me Willie up here, will you? Tough and never flaky. The time for a cross like this, we put a hole in his head. Now we just put a hole in his IBM car. Which means? It means the bomber's dealt his last hand anywhere. Here, London, Hawaii, Marty, the Bahamas. Everywhere. His record, his picture, his IBM card with a hole in it. All over. Hi, Chief. Hi, oh, Willie. Sit down. You wouldn't rather knock me down. That's his charm. He's using it. It'll get him no place. Wrong. No place is where I am. No smoking. You're not opposed to me. You're damn right, Willie. Got in a bad deep hole. Uh -huh. How about you figure you took off? I can tell you exactly. Don't do that, please. How's that for keeping my coup? Full marks. Peanuts, actually. Eighty-six forty. Eighty-six dollars and forty cents. No, sir. What then? What then? I can't hear you. Hey, is this absolutely? Knock it off. I, just I told you to, to knock it off. $8,640. That's pretty tasty peanuts. Is that the total? Your share of what? Mine. Fifty-fifty. I can't hear you! Yeah! Sir, 
So altogether it was 17,280. You say so. Now let me hear you say peanuts again. No thanks. And you owe us $17,280. Plus three weeks salary. I don't think we ought to pay you while you were robbing us, do you? Food and lodging, that's $300. That's the rate you're getting. We're not gonna charge you interest for old times' sake. That's 18780 How much you got left? Not a dime. What do you got in mind? A headache. She arrived. Well, I'm gonna help you out. How much do we pay dishwashers? 110. They start tomorrow morning. He can't. They got a union. He'll join it. I couldn't get in. Yeah. I'll handle it. Now, the reason I say tomorrow morning is because you've got a long time to go. 177 in one half weeks. Now, maybe we'll give you that half week off for good behavior if your behavior is good. <laughs> Time you can come up with the money, we'll be glad to spring you. In fact, we'd rather. <laughs> You're not the type we want around here much. You're more a germ. <laughs> I say a word. Take two. I want you to. That's four! I'm asking you to give me a second chance. I want to pay off. Pay back. Just leave me on my table. You'll get every cent. You won't regret it. Every cent. I swear it. Consider it. Second chance, Root, it's no good. Now make a note. Don't ever give anybody a second chance to take you. Get out, Willie. Hey, C. Get out. I said get out. Now get the hell out of here! Mr. Smith! Get out of here! He's going there. <laughs> What's so funny? Example, example, example. That's right. Watch out, you don't wind up washing dishes. A simple little thing. George, right. He George, can just, do it. George, yeah. just simple little thing. Yeah. Well, do you know where his hand started going? Where? Uh, where? Not as my sister. Around. Uh, mm, mm, around your breast, huh? Around to my breast. Yeah. Your breast. My husband's breasts. Yeah. They're yours, right? Yeah, well, yeah, in a manner of speaking. I mean, am I dumb or am I dumb? He just started coming on and on. Wait till I lose my chips. Can't you understand? <laughs> Hey! Hi there, how you doing? I'm sitting. I put the whole thing in the next one. I get 20. <laughs> 19 for him. Next time he gets 20. Right, I'm really sweating now. Blackjack! <laughs> $800 right here. <laughs> Here's the 20 I owe you. I lost a bet with Diana. I never thought you'd stick it. <laughs> so I bet her 20. 
You want to know the truth? I don't know. Mostly I'm not too crazy about the truth. Uh, there, were, there were times when I thought I... I might goof off, but then I mean, something holds me. <laughs> I don't know what. Me? Maybe, maybe you're stuck on me and you don't know it. <laughs> and there's people walk around with a disease. They don't know it. Not that I'm a disease. I, I, I think it's more this place. I got ideas. <laughs> me too. <laughs> hey, you want to marry me? No, thanks. Most of the men in the world don't want to get married. How do you know? I asked them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I hate. Hate! It's a great pizza. This picnic is no picnic. What's wrong? I'm wrong. The deeper I get, the more I think about what I'm doing. Well, first, it was nothing. It was even funny. Now I get ashamed of myself. That's healthy? No. no. You know, like that new routine with the count-up. It's something wrong. Maybe dangerous. Mm. Nothing's wrong. Then why the $25 raise to do it then? <sighs> Relax. Um, how is it you like it more and more? What is it? You getting tougher? Or hungrier? For what? We're smarter. Why fight it? Give them what they want. Who am I to police the party? Yeah. I started out to be a school teacher. So look at me. I said, look at me. Keep looking. Maybe you'll see something you want. <laughs> yep. You can lift it. I can lift it, and you too. Hey, hey, mind your manners. All right, this is a big one. Looks like you get to go to Europe after all. When? Tomorrow. How about tonight? Tell me more. Go from here to L.A. Paul to Zurich, deliver a fat message to a friend of mine, Herr Stuckman. He'll you meet you and take you to the stash. Who am I? Who else? I want her here. I wonder if I can lift it. It's pretty heavy. Well, how much? Might scare you. That much? And more. Uh, chance of trouble? Not much. The green is clear like always, tax paid. Ever fool around with Uncle Sam? He's bigger than you are and smarter. Anybody thinks they can screw the government doesn't know much about screwing. <sighs> well, well, what if Baltimore gets wise? I mean, what's the briefing? I'll say you grabbed it and ran and you'll admit it. I will. And take the rap. Uh, thanks, Dad. That's what I always wanted. A nice rap. I watch it. What? I said, watch it! Look, I'm teaching you how to live, how to operate, don't you? What are you, stupid? I don't think so. What the hell do I care what you think? Look, I'm telling you what to do. Now do it. Pay your dues and cut your wine, and it gripes my gut to see flesh and blood of mine yellow. 
Sorry. No. When you swung, I admired you. When you apologize, I don't. Okay, we understand each other. It's about time. Half of that's true. And just what in the hell does that mean? It means off to Zurich. Nothing will go wrong. It's greased at both ends. Hey, first time. Maybe it's an omen. Try it again. No, oh, no. I'm that one who quits ahead. Go again. It's your little job. It's all rigged. Just like that one trick machine we used to get the VIPs who come in here a little rub down. We're button pushers, son. Not flat foot Johnny Brown shoes with bunions from standing and bursitis from pulling for the ship to come in. Our ship comes in every day. Passports, some money, things you'll need to know tonight. I'll take the bad news to Baltimore. You take the good news to 40,000 feet. You hurt yourself? You don't say. You play winners, don't you, Mother? Always. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. May I take your bag, please? No, that's all right. Mr. Stuckman. Yes. This is A.C. Smith. So? Junior. Oh, uh, I expect you, yes? No, you come here. The Borrell Act, Suite 709. When? Right now. I don't know. Well, you better know, mister. Come on, I haven't got time to futz around. Futz? Come on, come on, wake up. How many times in your life do you get a chance like this? Ken. What? Sold out when? Day before yesterday. Who took? That's a difference. My whole life, that's a difference. Don't get excited, AC. It's bad for the heart. What's bad for my heart is being mixed up with snipers like you. We're businessmen, A.C. When the stock starts to slide, we unload. Who to? What was a blind deal? Some pigeon. From Florida. 873-2251. Hope Sound, Florida. Andy! Hi, Dad. Listen. Get, get out of Zurich fast and get back here. 
Right, I gotta go to Florida. You gotta mind the store. Ooh, why Florida, Dad? I'm on a pigeon shoot. Oh, what happened? They dumped. That's what happened. I gotta find out who, what, where. One thing we don't need is outside partners. Look, I don't care so much for me. I'm worried about you. Don't worry about me, Dad. You uh, got a touch of a foreign accent. I couldn't help but notice your uh, English, huh? Uh, yes, I am, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, what do you think of Vegas? Well, uh, I, I liked it very much. Yeah. So you're not going to see nice anything place. else like it. Well, why not tell him? You'll find out. And then? Wham, bam. I wonder if he had to choose between me and Caesar's palace. I know which way I'd go. I'm all ears. You're not all ears. Tell me. The palace. So would he. So would you. We're thing people. We put our trust and faith in things. Even our love. Not like those paper people back in Princeton. All about what? Playing with the past? Settling for less? Budgets, babies. <sighs> I used to think this was unreal. But back there, not even dreaming, just sleeping. Well, you're not. You did it. Good God, you really did it. I'm awed. Did what? Squeezed up my old man? Nothing. I just followed his direction. Besides. Yes? Me, love. How are you? Andy, get there yet? He's supposed to be on TWA 311. And that's what he said in the cable. It's on time. He should have been there two hours ago. No, you want me? Want him to call you when he does? No, I can wait. Hey, listen, I gotta go to Zurich. No, right from here. Yeah, three or four days. And if something's up, big. Now, take care, love. Goodbye. You may be in the lobby. No chance. It's a big step, this. Easy to trip. I'm terribly fond of AC, but you and I, it's a sort of moonshot. You mind? No, but there's a difference. With him, I know where I am. And where's where? Well, those Baltimore points were always meant to be mine. It was going to be a family affair. That's funny. Family affair. Especially since it hasn't happened yet. Your fault. And isn't going to. Your fault.
You just took that big step, Ladybug, and tripped on your beautiful balloons. What is this? The difference between little hookers and big hookers is little ones want to get paid first. Careful. You wet me once. All over. I got the symbolism. Trust me. I trust nobody. If I got down on my knees? And even if you stood on the most beautiful head I've ever seen. I wonder if AC was right to wonder about you. You'll never know, will you? Did you hear what happened to AC? He took a shafty from the kid. Sir, why should he be different from any other father? What's gonna be with you? I'm gonna get older and older and finally die. Unless I get totaled by a truck. No, I mean around here. Around here, I already got totaled. Did you leave me? Is that what I said? Hey. Maybe that's what I meant. Moved in, boom, 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 and took over. How could he? Bigger bastard than his daddy, that's how. Man, I sure hope I get to be a big bastard someday. Early found anybody better than you. Nowhere. Or me. You he'll improve Wait on. Huh? You're a walkie-talkie, Henry. What? And he knows it. Huh? So you better go somewhere else and be a cocktail waitress. And now, can you hear me now? The hell tells me... Hey, that's a gag, isn't it? Not on the phone. This place is crawling with big ears. <laughs> you ought to know. You put them in. Now, give me Harold. Sure, Dad. Hey, operator, you cut me off. Operator? That mother checked out. Who? Your mother. Good. What about him? He's on his way back. <laughs> hmm. What I figure is he'll fly over and drop his own personal guided missile. Oh, he still owns a third of everything here. Including me? Sure. And you own two thirds? Yes. <clears throat> Would you like the rest of it? <laughs> Tomorrow morning, Rennie, 915. Mm -hmm. Noon, department heads in the ballroom. And remind me to give you a raise. Oh. That's it. For now. Peace. Good night. Good night. Well, I got a pocket full of chips, so shall we casino our heads off? <laughs> Are you sleeping? Uh, who knows? You want to hear something but wacky? I'm in love. Oh, well, why is it wacky? Because it's with you. Uh, makes no sense. Should be with some passable schlump who thinks he's lucky to have me. Not with you. You're rich, charming, beautiful. What kind of a mess is that to be in love with? Also, you are a meathead. Good night. Good night. I probably should have told you this before we were married, but I don't know how to play blackjack. Oh. Paskey. You sleep? Of course. Why am I? A meathead. Oh. Get away from me. How did you get yourself caught in this ringer? A college man. You, you want some milk? Well read, with brains and feelings and your own teeth. 
Why? To show your father? What's that? Oh, look, don't be so... I started in to not to like you lately. What you did and all. Till I thought, so what about yourself, horrible? So I'm splitting while I can still think. Come back whenever. My guest. The replacement's a townie. So she doesn't cut it, no sweat. She'll be in tomorrow, noon. Okay. That soon? It's the best. Clean. I can explain it to you. Well, I know, but... Well, like, it's, it's really simple. We used, to, we used to play it in the Girl Scouts. Hi. Um, guess why I came up? Why? To make you a proposition. Um, after tonight... We're not going to see each other again. You know it. And I know it. Um, so... So... Would you? Would be something for me... to remember. It, you can always stop in the middle. <laughs> Out there on the floor, I mean, there's not a chick hustling drinks here who's making less than probably 600 a week. Mr. Smith's office. No, he's not. Oh, hold on a minute. I'll be with you in a minute. Yes. Miami Beach, Florida. Six, six, seven, three, three, four, three. No, he's terribly tied up today. Well, all right, give me the message. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll give him the message. All right. Goodbye. Now, can I help you? Well, by God, somebody better. Now, let's start off with who in the hell are you? Oh, come on, Phelan. I'm, I'm Mr. Smith's secretary. Who's he? Well, A.C. Smith, Jr. What does he do? Well, he's the owner-operator. Where's Molly? Miss Hirsch resigned. I know her name. What I don't know is my own name. Look, Mr. Smith's not available. Oh, yes, I am, honey.
did it. Boy, did you do it. Hey, I swear to God, I didn't think you had... Hey, wait a minute. It's not the noggin. That I knew you had. But the go, the steam, the all-out take charge, that I not only thought you didn't, but never would. And the way you nervous up about that little Zurich job, that upset me. Son, this is the happiest, nor the proudest moment of my life. If only your mother, may she rest in peace, could have... for a belt, they better stop making it now. Don't tell Diana. By the way, where is she? Across the street at the Flamingo. You gave her the old heel hook. No, she could have stayed. Yeah, but she wouldn't. She character. Uh, what a woman. Here's to the son of the year. Don't go up it like that. I told you, remember? Sip and nip and never flip. And drop that, will you? That's my finger. Anyway, kid, the uh, outside points are inside now. We got them. I got them. I got them. You're sure old enough to vote, boy. Hey, the way you are now and me, who's gonna stand us up, huh? I'm not interested in partners. Hey, we're blood, kid. You wanna be the boss, B? I'll have a piece of the top horse, and look who's my jockey. Come on, tell her. When did you decide to make the move? When I handed you the stash, right? On the plane going over. The plane going over. I finally figured it out. And every man for himself. I shouldn't. <laughs> Take care of number one. I saw you were willing to let me go down, so I decided if I didn't, I'd make my move. What a zinger that was, huh? I hand you the bag to take me out with. The uh, deposit slip from Herr Stuckman. A phony. <laughs> Him you bought, huh? Expensive. That figures a genuine Swiss movement. Uh huh. You don't think you can run this all by yourself, do you? Watch me. If you drive too fast, you'll go off the road. You know, you remind me of some nutball high roller that thinks because he wins a big one, he can't lose. Me, nutball? Question. Did you have pulled this, even thought of it? If I hadn't have showed you? I wonder. Hey, you know, there are many things around here. Nobody knows with me. Deals, arrangements, understandings, you understand? Nothing written down. Things I can't tell even you. But it's what makes it work, makes it go. You need me! All right. All right. If I need you? I'll send for you. You're throwing me off the premises? I'm taking over. And you don't want me around? I don't trust you. What? I don't buy it. That you're happy. That you're proud of me. It's a put on. Hey, you know, I've never been scared of anybody in my life, and I'm not now, but you're coming close, mister. Good. What happened? 
How in the hell did you get to be like this? Example. Example, example. That's all. I wanted to be the one to tell you. I can't explain it. Panic, nerves. He didn't mention a word. Well, I've got a gang of faults, but I do tell the truth. That you learned from me. And more. Everybody learns from me lately. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. From our lovely shop right here, I'd like to present to you a three-piece swimsuit outfit, which has been designed by Elizabeth Stewart. It's done of Dacron and cotton, and it's only priced at $28.95. I thank you. So here I am. You're a great geisha. One of the best. And I appreciate that you leveled with me. Out of call, that's the way I want it. I know. Hey, I understand him and you, two of you. Why you did what you did and why you didn't. Everything. There's still an ace in my hand. I thought I might end up washing dishes for 177 weeks like Willie. I didn't forget one thing. What? I didn't marry Willie. The new Cleveland, Ohio. And here's the message. Please wire $200 immediately to Francis Seldor, S-E-L-D-E-R. Did you get that? <laughs> Apple loans, you know, into a couple of million. So he buys into some, I, I don't know, some kind of catering uh, service that moves up and down the thing here. All of a sudden, he's a, he's, he's a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Could happen to anybody, you know. Hey, baby, what's, what's happening? How you doing? Hi, how you doing? Losers and losers. Look at them. Losers and losers. I thought you should know. So, now I know. Well, do I have the right to get rid of it without telling you? Or have it? Either way. Well, do you know someone to go to? If I decide, I'll find someone. Long distance call for Dr. Hazel. <sighs> Sounds awful, doesn't it? Mm. But having it might be worse. Maybe. Suppose it turned out a boy. Suppose it turned out like you and your father. You know, it scares me. What happened to you? How fast you got poisoned. Why don't I give you a check for $5,000 and... You really turned into him, didn't you? 
So now what? Tougher, harder, more scalps. Where's the end? That's a hell of a lot of questions, Molly. Miss Hirsch, 0983325301. How about stick around and we'll figure out some answers? Really? Why not? Two heads are better than one. Not if they're on the same person. Sell them what they want and what they want's an easy way. Anything. Reducing pill. Take this pill, eat all you want. Never gain a pound. We're never going to see each other again. So, would you? Something for me to remember. What the hell? Come on. Everybody's out to take you. Trust nobody. Hit hard. Look out for number one. Tough one, they look like. So I'm splitting while I can still think. Darn it into not to like you lately. Which you did at all. How in the hell did you get to be like this? Your natural nine. Players, nine over eight. The players win. Any more bets? Banker players. Let's go for wagers. Any more bets? Ladies and gentlemen, this game is closed. Who says? I say. Turn them on. You shouldn't be playing here anyway. One thousand. Is that a fact? The way you told it to me. Never play at your own place. This isn't my place. A piece of it is. An old shade piece. I'd rather have nothing. That can be arranged. Name a figure. You hide. That's a figure. Sorry, I can't afford it. Hey, make me an offer. I wouldn't think of it. See ya. Hold it! We'll roll the dice for it. How does that? No, thank you. No guts. Not a one. Toss a coin. Cut the cards. All right. One. I said all right. One cut. You're third against one of mine. Wait a second. No guts? You got going for you. Call a shot. You bring me a cut. One. I don't care.
happened? I lost. No, you didn't. I didn't? He won. Hey, have you noticed something? There's no clocks in Vegas. She's down there now, checking out. It's for you. Oh. Molly? Yes? Hey, everything's back to normal. How about picking up where we left off? Oh, I can't. I have to sublet my place in L.A., pack my everything and ship. Oh, and my cat. Uh, well, I don't know if to lend or bring or board or what. Oh, yeah, and I have to find a rental in Princeton. Where? New Jersey. You mean where Andy used to go? How about that? What the hell are you gonna do in Princeton? Oh, and also this week, on top of everything, I just have to get myself knocked up. <coughs> <laughs>